So we're going to try this one more time. Hey everybody, it's Chris from Tipton and Hurts, and today's happy is that we're in Dallas. Howard's here, Sanders here, I'm here, Miss Day behind the camera's here. We're having a little technical difficulty because of the Wi-Fi situation, but we're going to try and see what we can make it work. So Christina, why don't you scan back around again so everyone that's never been to Dallas show market can see what it's all about. So if you look up all the way up those, these are all shops and stores or vendors that we shop, that you can possibly shop at. And there's Christmas, there's jewelry, there's clothing, there's gourmet, a little bit of everything. So what we thought we'd do today is actually show you one of the major showrooms in the bar for industry that makes a big impact, and that's Accent Decor. They're the ones that set most of the trend, and we're fortunate to have them. So I kind of wanted to show you the showroom, and I'll show you some of the things that they're doing. This is their showroom. They always use tons of floral products. So there's the logo. So when you walk into the showroom, is anybody on? Anybody walking? Of course, them? we have lots of people on today. Walk through, they kind of do vignettes of color and trend. So over here you're going to see creams with a little bit of that mustard color, but white is pretty much throughout the whole, there's always going to be a pile of white and everything bounces off. So this is where we get a lot of our props and a lot of our industry use them as the guide as far as what they're going to do and also for special events. That's right. I'll show you how to plant a product. They always do great displays. There's a lot of impact to show you what all we can do with the product. They do a candle line. They do an everyday line. They do a little bit of Christmas. And of course, special event for a Like the gold stands that we use a lot for weddings, we got them at market here so at Atlanta. They us use those on. So yes. That's about how we kind of cherry pick. So is this a wholesale store or is this a retail store? This is a vendor. This is a wholesale division that, that as far as gift or floral come in here, and that's where we find a lot of our products. You got to buy a big, you know, several thousand, you know, minimum purchases, and usually you know, 12 of them probably. Oh. Here's the stands that we like to use a lot. Yeah, we use a lot of these. Look at this beautiful bowl. So it's a mixture Ooh, of everything. It's a little bit of traditional, but also a lot of contemporary. They forecast a lot of color for us. And you know, the big thing right now for everybody, especially your age, Christina, is everyone loves plants. That's right. So they do a ton of unique plant containers that are a little bit more off the beaten path, a little bit more hip. Like the head containers that we carry, are those, do, have you seen yep, those? Yeah, they're over here. I'll show you. Mm -hmm. Hey, did you see that on top, Mr. Chris? It like has where. Wow, I hadn't seen that up there. So you can slide it up and down to fit your space that you huh. need on top of that. Just so you all know. They call this a moon gate. That's right. We call it the moon gate arch. Moon gate. Oh, so cool. Well, everyone's commenting about how wonderful and snazzy and great you look. They're so impressed. Serengeti Desert. I mean, so they do a lot of decor as well. So if you come to the showroom, you have a place to work, do a lot of your laptop work as well. So let's go back to this. See, like those are votive cups that we use for weddings and stuff. They have a big variety 
Okay, so this is where I would say 75% of the industry comes to get the food. So do we go to many different vendors? Yes. And we split up. Yes, we do. Yes. We try to cover as much territory and try to pick out the best things to each vendor so we have our own unique look at Tiffin and Perk. And Dallas, in what is it, three weeks we're going to Atlanta. So we're getting some things here and then we go to Atlanta and get even more. And then we have our bridal group who's bringing for the bridal registry and tables on. And they'll, they're going, they'll do that more in Atlanta. So here's a forecast for spring. They're showing some little great containers. These almost like they've been hand painted. They all feel like they've been hand painted. So some whimsical containers with the butterflies there. And so here's the color palette that they're showing. What I call Easter egg colors, more or less. So that watercolor live for spring. Hey, and you know, what we're buying right now for is actually spring next year. So we're really, we've already bought Christmas, so we're really, because of shipping, well, it's just the way it works. But, um, and we are finding shipping containers is a big deal, uh, is a problem. But, um, but that's happening to everybody across the world due to COVID. prices and stuff but it's gonna say if you buy one it'll be a certain price and if you buy six it'll be a certain price and if you buy and then you try to get to a level as well as that and get the better they've seen these containers on the happy one of the first happies we had there was these containers right. the kind of sea urchin or mm -hmm. that little box. I think it was one of this that one was real popular oh yeah that was it this one. remember that one yep yeah. Miss Mary Ann said, oh boy, I see future comments sold items. Oh, there you go. So everyone, this is Mr. Frank. He's one of the owners of Black City Florida. And so I was telling them, y'all really are the ones that have a trend. I mean, y'all really do. I mean, everybody comes to Black City Florida to see what the new colors are and also to see what the new containers are and also all the new so, thank you for doing this. Well, thank you. It takes a lot of work out of time. Yeah, no, they, they are the deal. Yeah. So, very talented team. Put together these trips. Yep. And they always have the best fresh flowers at market, too. Yes, they do. <laughs> so, always love to do the flowers. So, flower industry appreciates y'all doing that. That's right. Oh, and coffee and food, too. Yeah, they, all, they have great food, too. <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah. Anyway, next market, we should have a dog. Oh, good. <laughs> good deal. Well, maybe I'll have lost some weight by <laughs> All right. We just want to introduce Mr. Frank. Mr. Frank is not here. Yeah. But anyway, but they, they, and they are so involved in all of our state groups. They do a lot for mm -hmm. AFP. I can't appreciate it. I always thank them over and over when I see them because they do so much for all of us. But as far as just day in, day out, they are kind of our go-to to see what's going on. Thank you. All right. We appreciate you. All right. So let's finish doing a real quick walkthrough. We don't want to bore y'all with people. Like so. Everyone's asking if we are in comfy clothes. Someone said they need to see what I have on. I do have on little sneakers. So we are, we are staying comfortable. Mr. Howard has on his tennis shoes. So we are, we are staying in comfort. And you can see what I have on in Wedding Wednesday. We're all on Wedding Wednesday today. Oh, this is another one of their square arches that they've done. And I've done a larger space size here. You're still seeing a lot of the grass as far as the gold containers. The gold is still very popular on Pinterest and everywhere else. Miss Wilma said she wore her happy t-shirt in Fayetteville yesterday and everyone kept coming out to her. They knew what that was. Oh my goodness. So these dots containers like this, these dots that can transition to a lot of contemporary look as well. And it's like kind a fun, of fun little fern. Yeah, That's fun super fern. fun. They do a lot with plant material, showing how organic is still very popular in the design world. It almost looks oh, like yeah. Miller's mud. That does look like Miller's mud. It's made in Arkansas, but that's great. 
So you are going to see quite a bit of this stuff pop up <laughs> as we order it. It'll come in for next year. Some things will be coming in the next couple of months. Uh, they're covering a lot of baskets and a lot of different textures that they're doing, and with all their, you know, doing the ceramic with the texture of the basket and then all the different tones. A lot of Tony on top of each other. Christmas section. Of course, for us, we always buy our Christmas, like Howard said, in January because, for one thing, the factory has to make it, and so we have to, they have to get their order in early, so they don't really, a lot of times I can't get things back stocked as much. You want to kind of stay on top of all that. Those are cool. So that can transition into, you know, something very organic. Fall or, or organic, fall or Christmas. Yeah, exactly. Miss Reba wants the metal plates that are in tobacco. We have them on order, but they're just back ordered right now. So, Actually, I found some of those in <gasps> oh my goodness! Well, we need those back. Like y'all probably saw these at um, Valentine's. We yeah. had some similar. Some of the, a lot of these are new introductions. Like they'll keep it. The, the best sellers, they'll remake those, but then they always try to add something new. Uh, like all these fun little containers here. Super Mom, just really fun little whimsical containers as well. Plant Mom, everybody's a plant person, plant parent now. Plant Everybody, plant minus me. So for people just tuning on, this is Accent Decor, which is one of our vendors that we shop at. Yep, and they're in Dallas, Atlanta, and Las Vegas. And we're in the Dallas show today. Hey, Chris, um, just tell them about, you know, one of the things is all this stuff, a lot of the showrooms look very similar because a lot of them buy from the same um, uh, manufacturing, like in China or the, uh, the East. And so they might change it up just a little yeah, bit. So the containers here might be slightly different than a container at another showroom, even though they're made at the same factory. So that's what we decided. We we'll try to just find the best and cherry pick everything and get the best of all of them. That's right. So one another one of their fun trends that Faithful has is they're doing a lot of what I call Picasso product. Meaning it almost looks like a Picasso painting or a container or a Picasso drawing. So there's been a lot of black and white contrasting. We're seeing this sagey green come back in, this soft green. Here's a, here's a container. Yes, those are the such popular they're containers. Called selfie bases. Those. We got one for Look everybody. at them now with glasses. See if yep. you have glasses, yep. then you can be a part. Exactly. Great plant containers that can transition into very contemporary, that can transition even to almost like a farm country, a farmhouse country look as well. So, a lot of hooded items like over there. the potter in the bottom and then the rope on top. This finishes up the end of the Christmas area again. So anyway, we hope y'all enjoyed seeing what it's like to be at Market. And we really appreciate y'all being on here and we will see you Friday back making some flowers. But we just wanted to share our experience at Dallas with y'all as well. So Thanks for watching and we will see y'all on Friday.